Hello students, this is uh, Dr. Raj Shekhar here and today I am going to talk to you about what type of approach we require for UPSC uh, exam. So first of all I think briefly I would like to mention to you about what type of uh, background I have. I have a PhD in uh, areas related to biotechnology, I have been teaching students uh, uh, preparing for group 1 as well as UPSC exam since last 3 years. Okay, so in this video on behalf of uh, Minds Academy I am going to share some ideas with respect to preparing for UPSC to one mains exam, uh, APPSC especially. So, a uh, few things in the why a uh, paper 5 in science and technology, uh, uh, group 1, uh, focusing on science and technology is very very important here. So, uh, what we know is that this area is a very very highly scoring area uh, because there is logical information that you have to, you have to put into it. There are specific points uh, that are expected for a given question. So when you actually figure out those points and being able to present them in the exam, you leave less room for losing marks on this. Okay? And also in the past that we have seen, people who have done well, performed well in science and technology uh, papers, they have secured very good ranks. So it is definitely possible for you to focus on it and get hold of a good rank by performing really well in the exam. And also we noticed that recent times, uh, after changing the syllabus by APPSC, the scope of this uh, paper had increased. Okay, so i assuming that you probably have done these things already, but if not, it's very very important uh, to ensure that you follow these steps. Uh, first of all, understanding the scope of each, of each topic in the given syllabus. There are nine units in the syllabus. You know, I've divided them into themes here. So one is science and technology in India, starting from the historical aspects and uh, contribution of various science scientists institutions to the policy frameworks uh, that you have to learn here and information and communication technology space technology technologies related to energy and environment and pollution which has some overlap the geography part here is also given as part of this paper and nanotechnology in unit 7 along with some areas of biotechnology as given here to avoid some confusion don't worry about biotechnology part here but include biotechnology part as part of unit 8 where health, immunity and biotechnology are given. Okay, also focus on some miscellaneous topics like immunodiagnostics uh, as part of this part. Okay, then uh, IPR intellectual property rights is also newly added to this part by reducing some of the factual information that were part of the past syllabus. Okay, in an intellectual property rights is something where we have a decent information available on market in some standard websites. You can pick up that information and should be able to answer questions in the exam. Next, uh, also they have given science and promotion uh, here, which I think you should be able to study as part of the unit one because a lot of correlation uh, is there with respect to this topic and the science activities in India in the unit. Okay, so by using uh, various resources, standard resources uh, like beginning at NCRT books uh, to the government websites and different government databases, you can collect information. Uh, to gain conceptual clarity, if at all you want to buy a standard material from the market, you know, pick up a material that is well known or put in a right, right manner. But as as far as my knowledge is concerned, none of them actually serve the purpose here uh, to the extent that you need for the exam. But definitely they are handy in, uh, in the beginning. So you take that and understand the scope of it and become comfortable with the subject. But uh, whatever you have, whatever you collect, ensure to prepare your own notes because nothing else comes in handy other than your notes uh, when you have to revise before the exams. Okay, and also make sure to tune yourself to the exams uh, by looking into the past questions, uh, past papers like we have 2012, 2016 and 2017 papers are available in the market. Have a look at them and uh, prepare in, in tune with those questions that are being asked. But I'm not asking you to spare any scope, any topics here, but just you know help yourself with the type of questions that come in the exams to understand the trend. So next we can look into few aspects of uh, the exam exam itself. Uh, first of all, in some mistakes that people do in the exam, you have to avoid it. And the most importantly, read the question carefully and understand the demand of the question. So it is very, very important that you answer the question as, as it is asked for, as it is demanding, rather than what you think about. Okay. So and also you have to identify that they are asking you to follow a different tone. So for example, describing, explaining it, discussing it, enumerating it, comparing it, critically commenting it are the different aspects that you see in, in the questions. So follow the approach that they are asking for. For example, if they are asking to describe something, provide a description 
you know by by providing the details related to something that they are asking for or same thing you do with the explanation part you have to explain you have to provide some sort of explanation to make it follow or if they ask you to discuss and here you have to discuss various aspects and various dimensions of the problem that is being asked in the question so similarly enumerate is expected to list the information and compare is where you provide a comparative analysis between different things uh, in the question and critically comment is where you have to provide you know uh, analysis on what are the shortcomings you have to provide a brief information about what they are asking for and focus on identifying the issues and problems with respect to that so your tone has to match to the demand of the question and also make sure to avoid the common mistakes as students do like uh, we actually prepare you know uh, in, in the form of you know, information but in the exam they ask in a different context we may try to put the information as we read it as we perceive it it is very important just before writing starting to write the answer you know frame your uh, information and make sure to put it as it is uh, asking in the question rather than how you perceive it okay and sometimes we try to make uh, you know answers really complex by using very complex terminology i know science and technology papers do demand just understanding of those terms but don't make a mistake of giving and using those terms in the wrong context okay that gives a negative impression to the examiner so be- become comfortable with the uh, syllabus become comfortable with the te- technical terms and use them in the appropriate uh, ways and also sometimes you know people don't manage uh, space really well because there are limited space they are asking you to write about 150 words or so and you have so many questions that you have to answer make sure that you dedicate just enough time as you know required for the question and don't waste your time and within that space manage to write all the components you know as the question is given so sometimes we may uh, try to spend too much of time on few questions because you are more comfortable with that question but that won't fetch you more marks so instead uh, attempt all the questions in the exam you might have read some information related to that the relevant information has to be put so attempt all the questions and uh, lose no score okay uh, leave no score for losing any marks so next uh, identify the keywords and the components when you are writing the answer make sure to identify the components keywords define them and explain those components and organize your information as i said before starting the question into proper subheadings then you know you will not uh, get into the way of answering something that is not relevant to the question and also make sure to include the flow charts and diagrams this will give you a very good visual about what is your answer even before the examiner reads your answer he has an idea about what's in there okay that is very very important and also make sure to use the relevant examples and uh, include some standard examples that are you know standard in that particular area also the examples that you pick up from the current affairs so i have also noticed that people may be focusing too much on static or too much on current affairs i think we have to have a good balance here static and current affairs both are being asked if you notice the trend in apbsc exams focus on both of them and also some uh, i have uh, remember teaching some upsc students where they focus on too much of analytical components but it's very important you also provide enough factual data so that is what uh, sometimes is demanded by the apbsc questions so keep both of them in. and uh, the best thing uh, for you to finalize and get ready for the exam is writing answers you know the type of test series programs we are offering here you know you frequently write answers get personal feedback on that and include those uh, suggestions given by the the experts here and improvise your answers and the only mantra to succeed in the exam is practice practice and practice